Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Meet Mike Brewer, the popular UK entertainer and researcher who is watched by millions of people internationally. Join us today to know what tragic happened to the Mike Brewer and why he went to the Afghanistan. At the end of video, I am going to reveal what cars does Mike own and what is his net worth. So, watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Mike Brewer is a British presenter and researcher who was born in Lambeth, London, on August 28, 1964. The television star was born into the household with members Doreen Fitzgerald and Roger Wilkes. His dad Roger was driving a Ford favorite that received the nickname the Pinball Wizard. Following 53 years of living throughout the UK, he is among the most renowned car icons there. He has also had a big impact on the world of television. Mike is well known due to his extensive auto understanding and expertise, which he gained from watching shows on television like Wheeler Dealers and Fifth Gear. He's also a common choice among devotees when it comes to addressing fascinating car issues or attending activities involving motor cars or motorsport because of his charm and quirky sense of amusement. At 60, Mike continues to stay strong and in excellent condition, playing the role of the country's greatest TV car expert. Due to his ethnic background and citizenship, he has unique access to British culture, a knowledge he eventually communicates to his viewers. His monetary prosperity has been significantly attributed to this. As an identified themselves British envoy, he often gives lectures at events in order to motivate attendees to acknowledge and learn about further the many particular facets of their heritage. He spent time all over the entire country on business, giving lectures that promote the natural splendor and diversity of UK and its citizens. Through his engaging story, Mike emphasizes the cultural variances between the different regions while also celebrating what connects the nation. Mike was up encircled by machinery, since his dad was a passion for exotic cars. When he was a teenager, he realized that he really loved motoring. Therefore, he chose to follow this skilled route. He rapidly developed an image for being clever and reliable after starting to work in the motor vehicles business. He began to import cars from all over the world and develop rapidly, becoming the south of Britain's biggest 4x4 business. Mike seemingly went into television by mistake. He had been speaking to a network producer when he took up his friend's telephone. He was called in for the inaugural season of Deals on Wheels after quite a bit of discussion and recounting tales. His work in this role aided him in landing a position as a broadcaster on Channel 4's Driven Show. He then hosted a number of non-automotive shows on ITV and Discovery Channel, namely Deals on Wheels, Auto Trader, Rex to Riches, and Revved Up. Mike Brewer has served as the host of Wheeler Dealers since the show's October 7, 2003 release. Throughout the program, he was assigned to work with Ed China, who functioned as its technician from the very first to the 12th season until leaving in 2017. After Ed quit in November 2020, Anta instead handled the following two seasons, 14 and 16. Veteran Formula One expert, Mark Elvis Priestley is now part of the cast as technician. These car fanatics search for and repair automobiles from every corner of the world so that the subsequent owner can enjoy them. Brewer has eventually driven a range of automobiles, but his first car was a beige Mini 850 says. Even though Brewer was already making fun of electric cars, he finally acknowledged in 2021 the fact that he had bought a Porsche taken for himself. Brewer decided the same year to sell a lot of his personal cars, many of which he had fixed and preserved himself. Even though Brewer liked cars, his schedule never allowed him to drive every one of them. According to a quote from Brewer, classic cars are there to be enjoyed. I know this to be true since I have a collection. Buy whatever you love, buy anything that you have an interest in, he said, because you're considerably more likely to be ready to spend time cleaning up, maintaining, and driving a car that you enjoy. According to Brewer, the image was taken in June 2023 of his Ford Fiesta Mc1 that he and Priestley were fixing to mark the 20th year of Wheeler Dealers. The card has a connection to a 5,000 pounds a prize. 
but as of November 2023, it remains unheard for. The entire lifelong partner of Michelle Brewer was Mike Brewer's wife. Mike and Michelle resided a drama-free and public-free of issues existence together after they tied the knot in 1992. The couple's prior romantic relationships, as well as the circumstances surrounding their first meeting and marriage, are kept secret. When the presenter and his spouse got married, they had been both 28 years old. It shows that they are two years apart in age. Both of them were with more than 30 years ago. Michelle was born on June 9, 1962. In a recent interview, Brewer spoke about the impact his job has had on his marriage, saying, I've literally committed my life, 27 years really, to this craft. In addition, my marriage has deteriorated as a consequence, despite the fact that I think it has given me an amazing life. However, there are moments when I look around and question whether I should be spent more time with my partner. He said, I enjoy being with her, but she drives me crazy. Chloe Brewer's father is British television presenter and auto enthusiast Mike Brewer. She is not as well known as her father is. Chloe is a creative communicator and skilled photographer who uses her own site and Instagram account to display her photography skills to a worldwide audience. What happened to Mike Brewer? The level of individuality amongst the viewers shocks us. The modest mechanic decided to step down when efforts were made to dumb down the program's difficult aspects. Since then, he and his family have been the target of verbal abuse and threatening of death. Ed China issued a second video in which he supports Brewer and begs fans to act responsibly following his statement of why he quit the program. Mike told me over phone conversation for three days prior and on the last day of work. Since I quit the program, he and his wife and kids have received a lot of abuse and even death threats, and that's just not right," he added. China discusses the evolution of his friendship alongside his former co-host in the same video. He said that Mike isn't his most preferred person at the moment, adding, I recognize for sure I am not his. A day cannot completely destroy almost 10 years of labor, but the technician thinks they are going to be able to get over ourselves and proceed on. In the year 2003, Wheeler Dealers, a newly released car series on the Discovery Channel, was first launched by Mike Brewer and Ed China. From 2003 till 2017, China and Brewer collaborated on the program. Over the span of their 13-year collaboration, they restored 135 cars jointly and got along well at work. Brewer was surprised when Ed declared in March 2017 that he was quitting the program, but accepted his choice. It seems that fans of Ed made several threats and derogatory remarks toward Brewer and his family after Ed left. In 2010, Mike went to Afghanistan to do filming for a television program named Frontline Battle Machines. This initiative's main goal was to monitor the equipment that the soldiers were utilizing in these hazardous situations. Brewer said in a tweet on June 2020, yeah, I went in Afghanistan for my tour of duty and was in the back of this same helicopter when the pilot of it was shot in the face. When he made a successful landing, the injured soldiers were still inside the aircraft. In addition to his passion for cars, Mike works for nonprofit organizations. He serves as the ambassador of Seesaw, a nonprofit that assists bereaved families and kids. It provides support to young people in the county of Oxford, England, at their time of loss. Brewer is an admirer of the Ben Foundation, a supporter of the Sporting Bears Motor Club, and a brand ambassador for Guards, a firm that provides solutions to manufacturers. This gearhead spins rapidly. As of right now, Mike Brewer's total assets is $1.5 million. In the world of automobiles, Mike Brewer is an established name who has been around for a while. This handsome broadcaster and journalist took over as an automobile expert after leaving BBC Top Gear. That one of the most adored and respected personalities in entertainment has had such a profound influence on our culture over the years and raised it to unprecedented levels with his youth-oriented automobile program Wheeler Dealers on Discovery Channel is hardly surprising. Driven by the adage, buy low, sell high, 
Brewer has established many successful businesses in the last 10 years, and in the current market, his net worth has reached a record $1.5 million. Brewer makes rapid progress in both his professional and private lives, never stopping to illuminate screens globally with his razor-sharp humor and astute financial acumen, all supported by his charismatic and contagious charm.